Alright, so let's start by installing the advanced filtering extension. We can do that by hovering over Gravity Kit here and clicking Products and Licenses. So from this screen we can manage our licenses and we can install, update and deactivate Gravity Kit plugins. So let's click Not Installed and we'll scroll down to Advanced Filtering and click Install Now. Okay, so advanced filtering has been installed and activated. Okay, great, so the plugin is now activated. And now you can go ahead and um, head over to the view where you want to implement an advanced filtering condition. So here's my view, we're inside the view editor. And if I just scroll down here to the view settings, here, all I need to do is click on the Filter and Sort tab. As you can see, there's a new option here at the bottom called Advanced Filter. We can add a new condition. There we go. So this allows us to add uh, one or more um, conditional logic filters to our view. As you can see, there's uh, three uh, input fields. So the first one allows you to choose a field in your form uh, that can also be a meta field. Uh, the second one is the condition. And the third one is the value that you want to measure that field against. So let's go ahead and select the category field. And we'll leave that as is. And we'll select the category as finance. So that means this view is only going to display entries where the category field is set to finance. So let's go ahead and update that. And check it out on the front end. As you can see, there are only two entries here. And both of them are under the category of finance. So if I head back to the view. And head back to our advanced filtering condition. Let's change this to is not. So that is basically the opposite to what we had before. So that will show all the entries where the category is not set to finance. So let's go ahead and update that. Check it out on the front end. There we go. As you can see, we've got entries here. We've got um, entries under marketing, legal, technical, but nothing under finance. All right, and one last thing um, to keep in mind is that you can add multiple conditions here using AND or OR logic. So if I just click this AND button, I can set up another condition. And if I'm using AND, both conditions must be met for that entry to be displayed. Whereas if I'm using the OR condition, Either of these conditions have to be met for that entry to be displayed.